My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not Ladies and son. gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, Danny's and today both. we're going to play how more this place he is? I guess so. the casting of Frank Stone. I mean, and we ended up in chapter been. 5, but apparently I missed the remember. checkpoint. So. I didn't even know it was weird until I got we're old enough to realize all the here, walks, he liked to take the middle good, of the night, I missed we're in the abandoned still over here. where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I wasn't been here. I don't even think he wants to be helped. What do you mean? Uh, it's... That's good. Why is it clown. always clown? The clown, the toxic traveler of the circus. <laughs> I hate clowns. Just so you know, I really hate clowns. So I was gonna say, yeah, uh, sorry. It's, it's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but he sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional. Like acupuncture with all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean like occult stuff? Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. All right. Uh, let's go back here. Um, oh, just so, uh, just so you guys know, uh, I'm planning on doing the next video with facecam. I don't, I don't know how that's going to play out because uh, it will be one of the first times that I do it. I'll be very uncomfortable doing it, so bear with me. I don't know if it works, but if it does and you're watching that video as well, please let me know in the comments what you think of it and if. You guys like it i will continue doing a face cam but again it will be a little bit awkward because it's it's basically the first time that i'm actually doing it seriously oh shit so bear with me let me quickly hop on this and I'll hop on this and then i have to go through here and then here and then scoot. But yeah, it will be uh, it will be a little bit cringe at first. Oh shit! Okay, balance. Easy does it. Easy does it. Good. Slow with that. I have to hop on these, jump, 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 the iridescent head, she tells me I must not fail, I don't know what iridescent, iris, iridescent head means, but, hello crow. Then climb. Hey guys, I'm back here. Let's enter this. And then we were where we were the last at the end of the last video. So wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is it. This is the machine shop. Yeah, it's set right on top of the door, so. Holy shit, you're right. Holy crap. It is. Oh, Man, almost. Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're going to find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss stuff. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article, it's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. 
I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one's still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, uh, good point. Ah. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. We're Let's high me again. Almost 11 a.m. p.m. Almost 11 p.m. Gotta be a way to get up there. There also must be stuff. So let's look around first. Of course. Of course it's locked. Why would it be open? Is there anything here? So far nothing. Hi guys. I bet I have to do something here, but... This should open the door, right? Uh, yeah, but look at the cable. Maybe there's something useful in there. Uh, yes. So maybe break... Ah. Aren't you gonna say anything? Okay. So... Do I have to break it? Or can I break it? I don't know. What's down here? I know this from the movie The Crazies. Awesome movie, by the way. If you haven't watched it, I suggest you do. Oh, damn. One second. Can I get up here? <gasps> I can. Okay, so that's the key that goes on here. <coughs> Good shit, Jaime. Big jump. Let's see what Robert has found. Okay. Hi, Robert. Broken? Looks like, yeah. Can you fix it? Uh, let me take a look. Oh, Jaime. Hey, no. can I ask you something, man? No. Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. Mm -hmm. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't, um... Wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like, I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Ouch. Like, just us. Oh, so I'm just in the way, man. <gasps> yes. Um, impatient. All right, look, the truth is, all night, I've been trying to get a few minutes alone to talk to Chris, and it hasn't been easy. You're annoyed that Chris doesn't want to run off and make out with you in the lair of the man who nearly made me an orphan. That's not what I said. It's not my fault she's more focused on her work than you, man. Give me a break. What's up, party people? Nothing. Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. I saw a key in there. Think it could be useful? Could be, yeah. Generator working? Nah, unfortunately it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. Scrounging? I never heard of that word either. Scrounging? Find parts to the generator, to repair the generator, okay. Keep your eyes open, people. Up. 
This might work with the generator. Found one. That was easy. Next one. Maybe down here. Nope. Not down here. Uh, then it must be over here somewhere. Ah. Could help with the generator. Yeah. I have no idea what kind of parts those are, but... Find anything? We've still got to power up that... I did, Jaime. Open. I did. How's that generator coming? Basically done. Just got to finish the repairs. Do you really think it's going to be worth all the effort? Uh, yeah. Why are you asking me that? See that big roller door over there? Yeah. It should lead us right back outside. <laughs> what? Right now? Yeah. Why not? I don't want to go anywhere until I've gotten a better look inside that thing. I really don't know how we're going to get up into it. See that box car? Yeah. If we could get into that, then up onto its roof, there's like a railing there. Like yeah. The entry. Yeah. It goes right across to the freight wagon. I tried to get into the box car. It's locked. I found a key, Jaime. You know. You know that. I did see a key in the office. Exactly. Then we should get the generator fixed so we can open the door. How's the generator coming? Oh, you already asked that. Can we talk again? No? Oh, and Linda is outside with Bonnie. Okay. So I can't talk to them. I'm really curious where the story will take us. Because there's three timelines. And I think they eventually... Nah. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, almost. Hey. Got a trophy. Oh. There's one. Look at me go. So so Ooh, barely. I'm so skilled. I can't do this in real life. Here we go. There we go. Nice job. Thank Thanks. you. Now we have to go back. Hey, that kind of, that part is open. Okay, so now I have to go in here. Press this. Open this up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Yeah. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be just easier to break that window? I mean... Is there anything here that I can get? Secrets? Door's locked. There's gotta be another way to get that key. Yeah, and I think I have to use this, Chris. I'll be right back. It's pretty dark. Can't believe they got me crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon. Uh, well, nobody asked, but. Okay. What have we here? A box. Ah, okay, so you can get them. 
That's good. I thought I I missed. Hmm. There Maybe we this go. This key will open up the box car. I think so. Use the key to unlock the box car. Ah. Ta-da! You got the key? Yep. Yep. It's got a label on it. F Stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Obsessive much? Oh, oh man. I mean, I get it. But... Let's the key unlocks the box car. Yeah. Yeah, already on it, Chris. Just... Make your way up to the train. Should I though? I up. don't know. Still need to go up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should be your way up here. Or do I have to? Oh, here. Almost there, guys. What? The hell was that sound? All right, we have to jump then. Um, I'll go first. I'll go first. Easy as one, two. Three. Three. Oh, it's that easy. Don't. Gotcha. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Thanks, man. That would not have been a pleasant way to go. I would not have wanted to break it to your dad. That would be an even more unpleasant way to go. Yo, check it. Check it? Wow. Will right you please check that out, guys? Yeah, sure, Chris. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was a hand. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Damn. Is... Is that a... Yes. Yeah. And it's got friends. <sighs> Hello. This is insane. Why? Must have come loose when the freight broke through. Yeah, that's a hand. Explore the lair. Millwright's notebook. Cedar Steel Corporation. Machine shop and repairs. Cedar Hills, Oregon. Log. other people Parker D no want to get close feel every blow hear their screams Kessler E this time make it last better control for the next small cuts keep clean taste their fear a creature forged to purge the world use what's at hand no not what I see at night inspire terror cut and fix Okay. Just those two pages, I would have scrolled through everything. Well, <laughs> hatch. This must be how Stone got in and out. Call her and son and friend murdered. Never connected Frank Stone to this. Following several days of rumors and speculation, Sheriff Lloyd Cusick last night confirmed he is treating the death of George Calhoun and Joyce Barton at Hawkline Point last Thursday night as a double murder. Hello. George Calhoun, 28, son of Cedar Hill's respected drugstore proprietor William Calhoun and his friend Joyce Barton, died after their car crashed and caught fire. Deputies have been working 
tirelessly over the weekend and have now determined that Mr. Calhoun's car was parked when it left the road, indicating the involvement of a third party. The news of another murder in our peaceful community represents a shock for us all. Coming so soon in the wake of the July killing of widow Dorothy Clay, let us in that episode when Mrs. Clay, nephew Elvin, was caught and convicted following a rapid investigation by Sheriff Busick, we must all hope and pray for a swift and just outcome. How can you read that? Upside down, but... Okay. Um, okay, let's check this out. What's in this? Oh, that's... Okay. Let me quickly check if there's something else here. I think not. Alright. It's just a waste of time. Let's go back in here and continue the story. Oh. Uh. Fuck! Fuck! Oh! Damn! I think she was one of Stone's victims. They never found her. They never found her. I don't think the police ever found this place. How do you know that? Because they went and just left all this stuff here. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. No, you can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You want to fuck with that? But the movie? The movie's done. I thought you were... Robert's right. You should get the sheriff. We got what we need. <laughs> Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? We should get the hell out looking here. around and get out. <sighs> Can I check that out again? Uh, no, okay. Let's, uh, can I talk with you? Like, now we have a few minutes alone, so... This is your time, Jaime. No? Okay. We gotta go. Huh. That door was locked. Maybe we should wait outside uh, until Robert comes back. Uh, do you think moving that's such a good idea? No way I'm not getting a shot of this thing. Yeah, but it's like evidence. Nobody can prove we knew that before we got the shot. Plausible deniability, man. I don't think that's what that means. Well, I won't tell if you don't. I'm just not cool with this. Okay. Noted. Don't you care at all how I feel? Of course I care how you feel. If that were true, you'd have noticed how hard it's been for me while you run around with Robert. While I run around with Robert? Dude, I'm dating you, not Robert. Doesn't feel like it. Well, I have to watch you and Linda half the time. Don't you care how I feel? Oh Ian, my god. Come on. That's not even remotely the same. We've been friends since kindergarten. And in all that time, neither of you even felt remotely attracted to each other? Uh... No? No. No way. N not possible. I We're like brother and sister. Uh-huh. I'm serious. It's not like that. It, it can't be like that with us. Sometimes the hardest thing to accept is the truth. Look, man, I gotta get this shot before Robert comes back with his dad.
Uh oh. This doesn't look good, does it? Huh? What? Oh, what is going to happen? I don't know. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Guys, we gotta go. Now. Now. What is it? What is it? Nothing good. I don't think this is such a good idea. Well, that was Jaime. You got killed trying to save Chris from the portal. Why? I didn't have a, a, a thing. But, well, oh, well, fuck my life. Wait, is this the part like Dead by Daylight where you just have to run from it? Okay, chapter 6. Beyond the Gate. Garant Manor. Well, fuck my life. I didn't want Jaime to Anything? die. Don't Nothing. push. Not that I can see. I'm telling you. Shit. So I have to flee all the time? She's back there. It's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. But Jaime is in this in an, isn't an in this slot. timeline, so. So there must be a missing piece that fits. And Bonnie here. isn't. It's just Linda. Okay. So Linda is a survivable character in place for the missing 1980. Thing. Even if we manage to find and it. And if we go back to 1963, was it? I don't think Maybe the now sheriff the that's like a can clue. die. But I don't know. Why would anyone put a clue for that was massive, awesome, though. lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try this? Good guess. Well, yeah. I wasn't actually expecting that to work. <laughs> Almost like you knew. Ooh, Linda. Manor and a jack in the box. Did you know? Did, did you know? Did you know? Okay, let's go up. This is a big manor. Love the skylight though. It's very um, panagroomy with uh, Jodie Foster. If you haven't seen that movie, I highly recommend it. And it's very, very dark. Hey, not at all. What's this? The Legion, the friendship bound in blood. Six out of twelve. Have we there? Oh, what's this? Murder review. Murder mill. Reviewed at a second fiendish desires fan festival by your correspondent Rabbit Hound. At first glance, the only real issue with Murder Mill is it's is its unskillful composition. 
the cinematic equivalent of your sister's kids putting on a play for the family before Thanksgiving dinner. The film sadly begins to dissolve into a vehicle for the filmmakers to not scare us, the audience, but instead show us how many other better horror films they've seen. The thing is, these aspects are not unusual in the genre and have more or less become par of the, for the course on the festival circuits. What was unusual, however, was the oddly unsettling feeling that blanketed the Tempian audience from the first frame, and I honestly cannot explain why. The overall sense of dread that evening was palpable and unlike anything I had experienced before or am keen to experience again. The screening was mercifully sh cut short, though, as two festival goers began to assault nearby audience members before turning on one another turning what was a below average movie going experience into absolute pandemonium. This reviewer could not get out of that theater fast enough. I'm not sure if this is a trick or gimmick of some kind of on the part of the filmmakers and I'm not sure how that would even happen, but I'd have to imagine anyone with the mind to do something so devious would make a much better film than this. Murder Mill exerts a violent effect on those who watch it. Oh. What's this? Long I Iceland. <laughs> That's a lot of dollar for an old movie. Hey, that's Dutch. Uh Long Iceland Auction House invoice Augustine Lieber Garam and her lot 106. Description 8mm film. Cinema called Rare Quantity 1 Price $10,120.20 Total Tax $2,024 Amount due $12,144.20 That's uh, 24 Willem van Oranje Street New Amsterdam, New Netherlands Is that a real... Willem van Oranje Street? Is that a real... Place? Is that a real street? Somewhere? Augustine had paid a large sums for other 8mm films apart from Linda Mari. I couldn't read it that fast. You know what they say about keys. Gotta be a lock nearby. No one yeah, says that. Yeah, I think Maddie. so too. Why is she going down? She doesn't know that I uh, got a key. I already got you. Okay. Time to head downstairs. I wonder where Chris was sucked into. Is it another timeline or another place? Is she in a nightmare realm? Is she. I don't know. I shouldn't speculate. Um. Uh, where does this key belong to? Something this weird has to be important. Does it open? It's missing a piece. Yeah, I, I know. Um. Uh, locked. And um, can't go there. Is there anything here that I can get? Then look. Only one of them isn't on. Wonder what Augustine's got in there. Yeah. Okay, let's open this door. I wonder what this is. Huh? Not here. But where? Is there a door? Uh, no, 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 no,
Down. No, I don't want to open it. Jesus. No. Back. Bye. Book. Already read you. Ah. What a weird scene. Oh, that's where the tree has to go. That space might fit the tree downstairs. Oh, Jesus Christ. Find a missing piece of the diamond. Oh, I just came from there. You're coming with me, buddy. Exactly. Place the tree in the diorama. Diorama. Oh, sorry. Person, character that I don't like. Place you in here. Use item. Place. Uh, no. Some kind of hammer. I wonder if it's from the statue of that little dude. I know, I know. I already figured it figured it out there, and then you go there. Play Hillbilly and his hammer reunited. Oh God! Okay. Spiders. I don't like spiders. Don't tell me this has to be a, that this is a puzzle because I don't like that. What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? No. Oh, it doesn't. Maybe oh. it's a pattern, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Or heads and heads and heads. Ah. Uh. Or heads and heads. <laughs> Open Sesame Trophy. Huh. That oh. was not, not so, so bad. bad. No, it wasn't. Whoa. Hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works. Think you got your wish. Uh, hooray. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. Can I? It's like a museum for... I have no fucking idea what. Something unearthly, for sure. These mean anything to you? Mm, no. Yeah, actually. It's exactly like in my film. The Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb? Oh, yeah, totally. It, it is exactly like that. <laughs> There yeah, is no tomb in the Prophecy of Pain. I knew it. Uh, yeah, sorry. I, I was getting this stuff with, with, the, with one of the Come other... Come to think I, of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work? Okay, look. You haven't yes, seen a single one of my films, have you? 
I am a fan of your reputation. <laughs> sure. Honestly, just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a... <sighs> kind of guy. Crowd pleaser, is it? Cliff Barra. My films Who? examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd pleasing enough for you. But now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. <sighs> Why don't we make it interesting? How so? A little wager. Terms? If I win, you tell me what I want to know. And if I win? I'll... I'll give you my section of the film. Deal. Oh. That's official. You can't take that back. Jesus, hot sauce. We're not 12. <laughs> Flip for it? Sure. But I get to call it. I call it or no deal. Oh no. I'm All gonna right. guess the wrong thing. What's it gonna be? Tails. Tails. <laughs> Crap. Nice. I believe we had a deal. There's not really much to tell. I wanted a bet from a real down on his luck guy. And now he's dead. So. Who? He's not exactly missing it. Who was he? A guy called Robbie G. That's how I knew him. R Robert Green? Sounds right. He was basically one foot in the grave when I met him. Oh, that's the, the guy from the 1980s. Okay. What happened to him? Well, I gather it sounded like he had some serious daddy issues. Never shut up about how much his dad fucked up his life. Oh. Anyways, there you go. Wow. Hey, Pazuzu, or. This whole place is like a film set. Acadian Demon. This is from the. Uh, the anthology pictures, the one with Ashley Tisdale in it, House of Ashes, statue from Acadian Acadian Empire, cuneiform on fragmentary clay tablets discovered nearby. This stuff discovered nearby suggests it represents a mythical demon. Worshippers believe it capable of bestowing supernatural power in exchange for their devotion, devotion protecting them and destroying their enemies. It's cool they got that back. Well, that's cheery. I kind of like this picture, though. I wouldn't, well, I kind of would love it to have it, but... There isn't a timer on this, right? I can just discover and, and, and see everything and... Where was that? Here. Victor's soldier. She told me they must die, that it must be violent to open the gates. Uh, I don't need to talk to you. Can I talk to you? I can't talk to you. Oh, this is Frank Stone. Is that... dried blood? It, it, yes. It is. It's, it's locked. Try the other door. <laughs> oh. I am uh, speaking from the Tradewinds Movie Theater on Texas Avenue, where we have witnessed, are witnessing some sort of protest, or 
I don't know. All, all I am able to report at this point is there have been several attacks on the general public as well as police and medical personnel. It's not overly clear, at least to us, what the uh, catalyst for, for the situation was, but I can confirm that it started in the cinema itself, as it has been reported an employee was stomped to death during a showing of Murder Mill. Uh, from here, from here I can see considerable damage done all around us, and police are currently doing their best to control this crowd. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, okay, now, now there is an arrest taking place, and several people are moving in, storming the officers at every side. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god! Okay, Whoa. okay, that was an explosion. That was an explosion. I, I can't see. I can't, I can't see. Uh, oh my, oh. Oh, that was uh, a riot. Also locked. Fall the fear. Justine Godfrey. Joffrey Godfrey? I've been playing Elden Ring for far too long. Manifestation. Getting back to the settlement would have been easy, a few hours ago. But the starlight was now suffocated, strangled by storm clouds. Beatrice could neither see nor hear whether she'd been followed. Not with the air so full of driving rain, as well as, well as the cackling of crows cutting across each other quickly enough to sound like mocking laughter. Their cacophony never seemed to fade, no matter how much distance she put between herself and the stage. At least, at least she couldn't hear the squelching, the slithering, the screaming, yet still she pushed on through the, into the roaring darkness. There was no way she could stop, not now. Not when she had no clue where that thing might be, the thing that Stamper had called, conjured, created. Not with when the memory of it rising from the sludge and ripping Ron apart was still burning bright in her mind. Something smashed against her shoulder, sending her spinning, tumbling backward into stones, sliding down into shallow salt water with a noisy splash. She landed with a painful cry, the sharp metallic taste of blood filled with her mouth, and she released an awful scream as her nerves began to burn. She tried to force herself back up, only for her bad ankle to buckle. She dropped down with a scream of pain. Beatrice reached for the rocks for support, trying to find purchase, but her grasping fingers met only what felt like sinew and spines and sludge. For all the tears beginning to fill her eyes, she could just about see the Druanese form looming over her, still dripping with the mud it was born from, and the gore of her friends. The clouds closed above, the rain beginning to drum once more, a knotted appendage in the monster's loathsome form caught in distant, dying half-light as its body moved to strike. That sounds a little bit like, um... Uh, what, what, uh, Fear Street kind of books, or, um... Uh, what's it called? Um... Goosebumps. Holy this shit. Is... No. There's no way. It can't be. Hey, Linda. You should really come see. What is this? It was just displayed here, open to this page. Talismans contain wells of great power, can take many physical forms, often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims? Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. 
What do you think it means? <sighs> Nothing. I don't know. But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. Maybe it's... Uh-oh. If it's that monster again, I'm going... Oh, no. This is a good place to end it. We finished chapter 5 and chapter 6 now. Oh, I'm so sad that Jaime died. Uh, it was me who was the idiot for thinking I can be the Spectre, but uh, okay. I'm really, really enjoying this game. And I can't wait to see what the story will present. Uh, I also have no idea how many chapters this have has. Uh, we have quite a few to go, I hope. But we're now at chapter 7, so I'm going to end the video here. And if you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And leave a comment down in the comment section down below. If you're wanting to talk about this game, please don't spoil anything that comes ahead. But I hope I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.